OK, do you recall when we were looking at Excel, um, we were doing personal budget sheets? If you remember, I said start in B1 and type Jan. This could be January, or it could be days of the week, actually, because Excel remembers lots of lists. In C1, we put Feb, and then highlighting with the big white cross cursor both B1 and C1, then letting go, we move to the bottom right-hand corner of those two cells so the cursor becomes a little black cross. And in that circumstance, when we then click down and drag across, you can see how Excel remembers exactly what it is we want to do. We take it over to M. That gives us December. And everything else is filled in. Much less work to do. On the left-hand side, then, we put some more labels. We started with rent, um, remembering a capital letter. Try and make it look nice. Uh, council tax, which was always the most important second uh, item. And then things like gas, electric. In fact, I'll just do gas on its own. Now, note how when I'm editing I go up to that particular that um, function bar backspace and down and then return or enter takes you down to the next line. Uh, let's use electric down there and travel and that one essential food. This of course is by no means all of them. I'm now going to highlight the whole of the first row by moving into number one there on the left hand side and clicking when the arrow's looking, looking small and black like that. That highlights the whole row and then I can click the bold button to make everything bold. Similarly, clicking in A with a down arrow like that, I can make all of A bold as well. Council tax is too wide for the cell, so moving up to the line between A and B, that line there, can you see how the cursor changes? And double clicking will make column A as wide as the widest label or number. OK, just putting in numbers now. These are any old numbers, um, not particularly um, relevant but uh, you use numbers that work for you. I'm using ones which uh, I'm really plucking out of the air. But of course, they do vary uh, month by month, and that's really the important issue here. To get the total, we come down there, we click into the last cell after the column of figures and we use sigma, that auto sum key, the M on its side. Click that and it magically creates the right formula for you knowing that you want to sum B2 to B7. And up here in the formula bar on the formula row there you can see that B2, B7 again. Press enter or return and there's your total. No maths needed. Now I'm going to use this opportunity to format all of those appropriately. You can either do that with format from the top here, format and cells, or you can just right click and format cells. Remember right clicking always gives you a context sensitive menu. With that we use currency, two decimal places, a pound symbol, and I'm going to use negative numbers here to be uh, minus and in red and OK, and there we are. To drag that then across the rest of the months, so we, we, we've got it filled in with rough figures which we can then alter, we again pick up that little black cursor there, bottom right hand corner having highlighted all that, over to December, and drag and drop, and there we have a complete budget. Come May, I'm not going to be using as much gas, I'm going to drop that down to £35. And as I do so, notice the number in cell F8, just above the cursor there, 
changes down to 1370. Remember again, dragging over to that right hand side, go a bit further, that we can get in the totals for each of the categories by again pressing the sigma key, which this time looks to the left, knowing the figures are to the left, and press return, and we have it there. Again, we drag that down with that little black cross cursor, and there in the bottom right hand corner is our expenditure for the whole year which is fairly frightening. Just remember to put in a total there for the month. That, of course, comes out bold because when we applied the bold, we applied it to the whole of column A. OK, hopefully by now that's reminded you of what we went through on that particular lesson.